voting for Obama. So, and then, but um, so, you know, there's no such thing as uh, unbiased news coverage anymore. I said that we're probably the closest to being unbiased. We're the closest to it because I slammed both parties. I mean, I told people what they were going to get in Obama. I told people what they're going to get after Obama, and the worst, and the person after that person is going to be the worst even yet, because it's going to be like. Um, um, three presidents before people finally get it through their head, hey, we've got to elect somebody that actually wants to listen to the people. Mm -hmm. Rick Perry's not going to listen to the people. Mm -hmm. The guy's a career politician, folks. Do you think that uh, Romney was going to listen to the people? His father would have His father was such an upstanding person, he didn't run for the vice presidency of the United States because he wasn't born in this country. Sort of like John McCain. He was born in a consulate, which meant he was on American soil, but he felt that that was improper because the Constitution meant born in this country. Yeah, so, but, um, so, yeah, yeah, it's just going to be interesting. I think, you know, uh, sooner or later, somebody on the Republican side is going to take the gloves off. They're going to go to Cicero and they're going to pick up a, you know, okay, Carl Rowe, my God, Carl Rowe, they're going to eat him up and spit him out like he was a, you know, like he actually did belong in a gay pride parade, leading it as a cheerleader. You know, in a little skirt outfit going up and down. Eh, you know, because uh, you know he, he's a Timmy. I mean, I, I actually, I, I would, you know, I, I, I have, I put more faith in some of these actors that I know that are basically wall-to-wall -wall muscles, could easily play a superhero, and and basically. You know, you, you, you wouldn't kick one of them around. Mm -hmm. He'd kick your ass. But Republicans won't. Republicans will roll over and play dead before they'll stand up. So it's why Sarah Palin is so intriguing because Palin doesn't roll over. I know. I love that <coughs> fighting spirit that she has. I mean, she quit her job as governor to protect her family. And uh, so, and now she's, she's family is protected. They've got a wall of security to keep thugs away from them, which she didn't have as governor because she was surrounded by a lot of Democrats <coughs> who couldn't prove one single thing against her, folks. Nothing. They ate up her money, couldn't prove anything. I know. So, but um, I guess you're going to hear lots and lots between now and the election, I thought. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Republicans are going to, if you, you elect Perry, Romney, or any of these guys running the Republican side, you're going to get what you deserve again. <laughs> if you elect Barack Obama. And crap, the pictures, they won't be spending, like, they're putting the country in the same position, but it's kind no, of. No, they're going to, okay. Uh, okay, what you're going to do is that anybody who wins is not going to go, they're not going to, they're not going to go to the Tea Party side, they're going to go to the right side. They're all going to go to, they don't, they don't care about fiscal responsibility. They're going to go to Bibles in every school. We're going to have the Ten Commandments, you know, tattooed on everybody's shoulders. That's what you're looking at. No, you see, that's just, as, I mean, that's just as bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I guarantee you, I'm old. I could beat any of the candidates out there and Barack Obama at the same time. Because I don't need a teleprompter. I'm just right, debate them. I can debate them, man. I, I mean, I, you know, I didn't even, when I was in my debating class, I didn't take notes up. I just stand there and look at people. You know, I, I get my little Indian look on them, I look at them. I just sit there with my hand behind my back and look at them. So, and when I was supposed to be sitting in a chair, I'd be standing behind my chair and just looking at them. Mm -hmm. That's basically that nerve me. They'd tell me, well, will you please have the gentleman from USC please sit down? And there's no rule that says he has to sit down. Oh. And then you'll look, there is no rule if he has to sit down. Mm -hmm. That That's just, uh, you know, I, I, I learned, my, my, my mommy's from Cicero. I know how they play 90. My father grew up with the worst of the mafioso out in Southern California. He grew up with the guys that live in Salinas now, folks. So I, I grew up, I know what it's like to play rough and tumble. So, I mean, I only ever got in one fight in my school, ever. Really? Yeah. Thing to do because there's somebody hit somebody, they, you know, hit a person in the head or hurt your hand. But, um, but uh, that's, you know, we're still, I mean, she, she's a business person. I'm not a business person. I'm just an old person that's been in the entertainment industry for my entire life. 
and I have never seen anything as bad as it is right now. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just going to get worse because no one cares. I care. I care. Yeah. But, but you have to show you care. You have to show you care, but Ma, she doesn't care. Ma, she can be bought. She just saw me buy her. I know. Well, actually, you can watch more of our videos because then then we'll have more. We'll, we'll try to give you a more people. fair and balanced because. Well, uh, that's one of the things we try to do. There is no candidate out there worth a damn. None of them. If you support, Mark Twain said that you get exactly what you deserve when you elect someone to office. No better, no worse, you get what you deserve. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the way to end this thing on finances. Because, it, you know, the market is going up right now. When the market around the world is totally collapsed, but our market is going up because we have a little thing on Wall Street called an inversion program. Inversion program simply is if it goes like this, they flip the program, they flip the switch, Hey, that bull market all of a sudden become a bear market. I mean, the, the, bull, the bear market become a bull market. And when the market is going up and they don't want it to go up too fast, they flip the switch. Oh, we're cooled down and now we've got a bull. We've got a bear market. Mm -hmm. That's how simple it is. That's why electronic trading should never be allowed. Because uh, what happens is you can't have, they don't allow runs on anything because they stop it. When you stop a run, you stop the market of being balanced. Mm. You know, well, if we lose 500 points, in this, we have to stop it. Well, no, it's just a normal course of events. If you lose 500 points, it means that you should allow it to continue because it will eventually even itself out. What happens is now with the market, with the switch being thrown, we stop the market for trading until somebody starts buying that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the way it works. But I guess until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.